good morning everybody. Today we need to go through more mystery boxes that I've had stashed in my shop for over a year. And we've got to get ready for an auction tonight with Wade's Venture. So let's just get right to it. Okay, so the first box we've got here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. See that guy? See that little guy? Holy crap. He's not a brown recluse. Need to get him away though. All right. This will go in a uh, crafting lot. Iron, hot iron transfer. This is just going to. <laughs> what is this? Trash bags for life's little disasters on the road. This will go donation. These right here will also go donation. Really nice though. These will go donation. This looks like a nice wool scarf. Maybe we'll make a scarf lot. These will go donation. And we're gonna end up making a purse lot too. Here's a little purse. Leather. Got a pin in it. Another little purse. Genuine leather Brazil. That's what it's stamped. Nothing inside of it. Another little purse. A pair of shoes from Christian Siriano. Pay less. These will go donation. It's in the tent. Look at there. A bunch of barrel beads and seed beads. Wow. Look at this, guys. Is that not cool? So it's just paper blanks. That is a really, really neat book. I don't know if it's a scrapbook or, a, or not a scrapbook, but like a uh, drawing book or what. That is nice. All right, guys. Now it's a little box here. There's stuff in this one. So this is a little pendant, a little bird pendant. And it looks like we've got crystal or maybe quartz or something. I bet it's quartz. Quartz pieces. Some little, I guess, crystal parts in there. Let's see. That one's empty. That one's empty. And that one is empty. This is a neat little box. Probably sell it all together in a little crafting lot. Not just this, but of course this included with a bunch of other stuff. Practice guides for calligraphy lettering. This will be in a good craft lot here. Drawing paper. Man, is that not an old school box? And we've got... Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, hang on. Empty. Empty. This is not empty. Oh look, it's a little sterling silver clarinet pendant. Nice. Something in this one too. It's a little glass fish pendant. Neat. Got ourselves a little squirrel here, along with a turtle. Little bitty no-name vase. Cool looking cat. Oh, a little pillbox. Look at this, guys. It's a little walnut shaped pillbox. Pretty neat. It's not sterling. It's a little pewter armadillo pendant. And a really pretty shell. Alright, so that's what's in the box. A little piece of leather work there. Looks native. I think that's the Thunderbird. Let's see what's in this, if I can get it open. Okay, so that's earrings. Looks like a sun pendant, or moon pendant, I'm sorry. It's a collegiate pen of some sort right here. You can't tell me these aren't old. <gasps> what's the use? What are these for? Is there something in this? Nope. Nothing in this little pillbox. Pretty neat though. 
horses. And these are just plastic ornaments for Christmas. Pretty neat. All right, guys, here's the next box. Let's just have a look. That'll be donation. This will also be donation. Donation. This will go in an office lot. I'll use these. I might put this in with a, uh, a lot of some sort. This little guy, probably just put him in a toy lot. Donation. Donation, donation. You know, I'm thinking about making a lot of just a bunch of tins. I don't know if anybody would be interested. I know crafters use tins a lot, especially for bead storage. This will be donation. They're just uh, coin rolls and plastic cups. These are really neat. So they're three tier uh, glass display cases. There's two of them here. This one's broken though. So I'm going to just go ahead and donate these. This will go in an office lot. This is a really nice glass canister. I'll just donate this. It's not really worth much and it would be a risk to ship it. We'll just donate these. Staples for office. Now ain't that cute. School tools. have no idea what this is for. Okay, it's just, it's for a protractor, ovals, symbols, stuff like that. This is empty. It'll go in donation, donation, donation. And this is a really neat bag. It's a denim bag. Looks like it's never been used. So we'll put this in with a purse slot. And it looks like we have here six iron-on transfers. This will go in a crafting lot. All right, next box. All right, what do we have here? Nice little cigar box. I don't know if any of these are really collectible all that much, but who knows? Oh yeah, instant workout. This'll go donation. That's a lot of glue. That is a lot of glue. I'll see if hot sauce needs this for the kids. Donation, world's smallest Walmart basket. Uh, I don't know. These are really cool though. And I'll likely lock these up. Not sure what's in this one. Probably have to take this stuff out before we sell it. Looks like some jewelry wire and some bailing wire it looks like so maybe this will go in a craft lot this this in a craft lot this in a tool lot and we have several sewing patterns and this is just a tiny tiny bit of what we have we have over 2,000 sewing patterns all right guys this is a very large box let's go through it see what we can't find I have to be careful obviously because this stuff's been sitting back there for quite a while, and I have seen spiders. So hopefully we don't run across any, but we don't know. Peel and etch, that's pretty neat. Not sure what we've got here. Mancala African Stone Game. That is really interesting. Have no idea, and there's little stones inside here. I'll have to check this out. Some stretcher bars, more stuff for crafting. This looks like cross stitch or needlepoint. Some of this can be worth a lot of money, guys. Oh, wow. 
This thing's plumb full. Look at this. It's a little sombrero for your finger. Empty. Let's see what else is in here. This looks like sterling. Yeah, guys. This right here is a sterling thimble. That is really neat. This looks like a little game. And the rest of what we've got in here, just some thread heaven, thread conditioner, little brooch here. Right there, it's actually missing pieces. This little guy, lock and key. That's about it. All right, guys, let's look to see what's in here. Bunch of random stuff. Was that a hairpin? Maybe that's a necklace. This looks like trash. Twenty cent stamp. Another brooch. It's a bag full of interesting beads. Some more uh, glass beads. Looks like or stone. Oh, there's a ring in there. Uh, Super Bowl pin. Nice. 1974. That's pretty interesting. This ring here, made in Hong Kong. That is what is in there. All right. Next. Oh boy. Ooh, those are pretty. Sterling silver. Looks like it might be. It's not ruby. I don't know. I can't. Those are nice. All of that along with this costume jewelry. The rest of it's costume. Alright. Hey, more pins. And they're all just. All from the same guy. All different pictures. Oh! Okay. This is the bottom. It sits up like this. Probably to hang jewelry on. What's in here? Oh, wow. Wow. All sorts of stuff here. Looks like a lot of cross stitch stuff. This is a, some more stretcher bars. Plump full of thread and everything else in here. Guys, look, check these out. I'm not sure what these are called. They're called healthy balls. <laughs> Healthy balls from Lotus Pond. This looks like Ada cloth here. Picture frames. Okay. Oh, I know what these are for. These are so you can frame your embroideries or your cross stitch. Look at this, guys. This is amazing. Um. This whole pack is of Coca-Cola Olympics pins. All of them. All right, here we go. Oh, oh! These are little Burger King things, I think. This is what I was curious about. None of it looks to be real stuff. Of course, I'll have to take a little bit closer look. I'll let you know if I find anything that's real in there. But that was a nice little find. What's in here? Oh, wow. Look at all these pins. Some of them are Disney. A lot of them are Disney. I think I've been tricked. Nothing. Art craft concepts. This is something I'm going to have to pay some attention to. All right, guys. There's something in here. Oh, look, it's another box. Ah, tricked it. Tricked again. Cotton tips, anyone? This one's got something in it. Oh, it's a hinged box. Oh, Centrium A to Z. That's empty. What you hear, guys? Let's see, stamps. 18 cent stamps. Those are wild and crazy. 25 cent stamps. Who knows? Magnetic key holder. Um, Gum, anyone? A few bits and pieces. And a card sewing kit. That's it. More stationery here 
I'll have to look to see what's used and what's not. This says home interiors and gifts. We're gonna see what's in it. Oh wow, these are actually really nice. Oh wow, she was in the process of making this. More stuff for cross stitch and needlework. These are really pretty, interesting. Cross stitch pattern, or actually a cross stitch kit. What is this? Oh wow. Oh, there it is. That's pretty cool. I like the looks of this. Um, I'm not sure what I'm looking here. At. Necklace number 16. She was in the process of making a necklace. Okay, so see? These are stretcher boards, and this was her canvas for cross stitch. What's in here? Toy Story Sweet Tarts. A couple of pieces of L.L. Bean Cedar. That's interesting. And this looks like a purse. Unused. Genuine Leather by Palana. Interesting. Oh, these are smashed pennies. Probably from different locations. What's this? I bet it's another... Yep. Here's another cross stitch she was working on. Couple more pins in this bag. These look like pins as well. Oh! Now see, these are limited edition. Limited edition to 250 of these. There's only 250 of these in the world. Same one with this one. Look at this. Those are really, really pretty. Okay, this is some kind of mold. It says, use the clips to hold the two parts of the mold together. Interesting. I'll have to investigate this further. You have got to be kidding me. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Guys, we gotta go. We, we, we have to look into this right now. Alright guys, let's take a closer look at what we might have here. I have no idea the age of this. This could be this could be something incredible. That's weird. Interesting. These might be not old. I don't know. Really interesting. Here's another one. This looks like a pendant of some sort. These look like coins. They could be repops though. I have no idea. Here's another bigger coin right here. Coin. Not sure. This says American Defense for service during the limited emergency proclaimed by the President on September 8, 1939 or during the unlimited emergency proclaimed by the President on May 27, 1940 something. That's cute. Another pendant. Got some coins here. That looks like a peso. Not sure about that. Missouri. Okay, so this is some kind of transit token probably. Oh, it's a tax, tax coin. That's a pendant. Here's a Snoopy pendant. What does that say? 1965? 
Holy crap. Another pendant. Another pendant. Here's another pendant. That's interesting. Looks like... Looks like, uh, aliens. Here's a great big one. Another big one. Wow. Here's a coin. Another coin, possibly. Another of the, another of the same. That's cute. Okay, that's a mercury dime, or was. Used to be. This is interesting. Not sure about this. I'll have to look. Oh, that's cute. Keychain. Hyde Park National Junior Honor Society. Got a few keys here. And then we've got a few coins here. Looks like we've got a tax coin, a few pesos, Indian head nickel, and uh, who knows? Not sure if any of this is really worth a lot. I know that's silver. Upon further inspection, this doesn't appear to be anything special. But it is pretty. If you watch closely, you'll see them. Do you see them? They're everywhere. Oklahoma has one of the most beautiful sunsets. I absolutely love where I live. All right, guys. Well, that is it for me. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Leave us some love down below in the comments section because we really do enjoy reading your comments. Also, if you haven't considered subscribing, go ahead and subscribe today and make sure to hit that bell so that you get notifications when we post videos. And until next time, we'll catch you later.